my channel. And also press this bell icon. Vectors. First of all, we will proceed to its definition. What is it? Those physical quantities which have magnitude, direction, and obeying law of vector algebra are called vectors. Let us take an example. Displacement 5 meter towards north. Say, here 5 meter is the magnitude of displacement and north is the direction of displacement. Thus, displacement have both magnitude and direction as well as it obeys the law of vector algebra. Hence, it is a vector. How the displacement obeys the law of vector algebra? We will know this in the upcoming videos. Some more examples of vector are Velocity, Force, Acceleration, Angular Velocity and many more. Note, if a physical quantity has magnitude and direction both, then it does not always imply that it is a vector. For it to be a vector, third condition of obeying law of vector algebra has to be satisfied. For example, the physical quantity current has both magnitude and direction, but it does not a vector as it disobeys the law of vector algebra. Representation of vectors We can use an arrow to represent a vector. Its length is its magnitude and its direction is indicated by direction of the arrow that is the vector shown in the diagram can be written as and its magnitude is written as how can we denote vectors for symbols to denote vectors arrows are marked above the representative symbols for them that is ab vector comma bc vector and so on. Single letters also would be suitable for this purpose like the abbreviation of velocity is small v and it is a vector quantity hence it is denoted by arrow marked above the representative symbol. Similarly the linear momentum, the acceleration and the force are represented by or denoted by p vector, a vector and f vector respectively. Hey there, subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon.